Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today, working on the 70 Camaro. Uh, you can see the front clip is on the painting stands. Didn't want to take it apart. Um, it actually looked like a car, but had everything lined up really nice too. Got to go through all that process again, but they got to get painted. They got to get moving on painting these things. Uh, I've got to sand these down. I think I got most of this fender sanded down, but that's about it. Um, I've got what they call a fill-in primer on them right now, and it's it's basically like a kind of like a spray-on body filler but it's not very thick at all. Um, it does come out really rough because it it's a thicker paint, but it's not like a normal body filler where you can get some uh, thickness to it. It's very thin. So I gotta sand this down with my blocks and where I can't get my blocks, I'll just use my hands. This is the bottom piece, the chin spoiler, not real important. I mean, this car is really, really low. So not many people are gonna see the bottom of that. Uh, this is the top side um, next to the hood. So we'll have to get that nice because everyone's gonna see that one. And then of course the fender's gotta be sanded out nice because everyone sees the fenders too, so. Yeah, I got a little bit of sanding ahead of me. Um, if I get ambitious, I might, I might be painting these tonight, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so a day later, or a day of sanding later, uh, I finally got everything ready here. Um, yeah, I've got my panels laid out here so I can get at everything I need to paint. Got one hanging there, got one on the little uh, roll around ladder. Fenders are on my folding stands. Wish I could have those fenders up higher and uh, more like they're gonna be on the car, but the best I can do right now. Got some little pieces right there. Those are the bumper fillers or something. I'll hit them while I'm doing this. But yeah, lots of sand in. My fingers hurt. But I think we're ready. Uh, I'm gonna spray some uh, primer sealer right now to seal up all the paint and everywhere I got one of these so it's all even one one color um, also spraying the sealer on there because I'm actually switching uh, brands I use I was gonna do a different brand of paint so I was using different uh, primers so I'm gonna use a sealer to set me up for the PPG paint that I'm now using so a uh, sealer does a few things here, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do another once over, make sure everything uh, I, I want done is done to these things. So I can uh, start shooting these. Uh, you can also see I've got the floor wet here. I've been actually cleaning the floor. I've been spraying the doors. Uh, those windows um, house a lot of little bugs and stuff. So I spray them out. I've been spraying them out been trying to keep the shop um, a little cleaner here where I paint uh, so we get less dust but we'll see how that works out you see I washed the floor down 
So, yeah, hopefully uh, less debris. I'm gonna be painting. You can see it's daylight. So no mosquitoes, um, unless they're freaky mosquitoes and they like sun, but there's not very many of those. So hopefully we'll have some good results with these. This is the whole front clip of the car. So yeah, once I get this done, we'll have the whole front clip finished. I got the hood in the shed all painted. So we'll have, I would say about a half of the car because these, these fenders are really long. The hood's really long on this car. So almost, almost half of the car painted. Okay, you got my sealer on. Fenders are looking really smooth. Real good, all that sanding and everything's really paid off. Everything's looking good, getting ready to do my color now. So I might get a little bit of video of that. You can actually see it go on. That's why I take a video of the color usually going on. So, yeah, let's get to uh, painting.
Okay, so everything's red. Time for clear coat. It's gonna be a mess in here because there's a lot of parts here, a lot of clear coat. So I gotta get this done with. This has been all day painting these. So let's get them finished up. Okay, so it's been oh, about a day, but you can see got uh, the parts painted here. So um, got a little more orange peel on these fenders than I would like. I don't really know what happened. I had my my light and I was shooting it with my light so I could really see what was going on but I just didn't get quite enough clear um, I mean it's 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 okay but um, probably gonna end up wet sanding buffing the whole car but I didn't want to do that but it's gonna happen I think I'm gonna get these parts we're gonna get it back on the car before I do anything before I make any decisions but yeah, it's the no the nose piece come out good and the and the the chin piece I'm happy with that. Um just uh these fenders just I don't know. Probably being too picky, but I want the car to look nice. It doesn't have to look like a show piece, but I really want the car to look nice because me and dad we're proud of we're proud of this car because we put a lot of time and a lot of effort in this thing and we want it to to look nice so we don't have the time or the money to build a show car but we can make a nice car here nice driver so I guess that's gonna do it for this one guys not a whole lot happened um, in this video I know but this is more documentation of the of the front clip being painted I guess so like I said that's gonna do it for this one guys um, I'm gonna let these sit here for a couple days then we'll get them out of the way then I got to uh, tackle the rest of the car might do something different on that I might I might be gonna work on the doors get them situated and then work on the rest of the car we'll see how that works out but I'll, I'll, I'll do a video of, of what I do but I'll see you guys.